Howdy, everyone. My name is Caroline from the N Team. This is the final episode of news, so sit tight, buckle up, and let's get started. Following the successful launch of N in Europe, North America, and Australia, N has never stopped spreading the fun to drive spirit. This time, N officially launched in the Middle East Asian region at Dubai Autodrome with Atlantra N, Puna N, and Veloster N. Car-loving enthusiasts were able to experience the driving dynamics of N and hone various driving techniques such as acceleration and emergency braking. Let's hear what our correspondent on site has to say. Well, hello everyone. I'm standing here in Dubai. So what we're doing here is we're launching the N brand in the Middle East Africa region together with our regional headquarter. Over 40 journalists and influencers doing their job, which is having fun to drive with our cars. Thank you very much. To our enthusiasts in the Middle East, welcome on board. Let's give our beloved i20N a round of applause for not just one, but two awards at the Top Gear Annual Awards. Our i20N was bestowed the Performance Car of the Year title after going through a series of grueling tests against 25 most evocative performance car brands in the world at the annual Speed Week test. It went on to prove its all-round brilliance on road conditions outside its comfort zone and won itself the prestigious Car of the Year title as well. Great job, i20N! Next up is a festive news all the way from Australia. The third annual N Festival was held at Winton Raceway, somewhere about a two and a half drive north of Melbourne. This year's festival was extended to a full weekend event, including an open track day, gymkhana exercise, and test drives of the i30N, Kuna N, i20N, and i30 Sedan N, or Elantra N as most of you know it as. Enthusiasts even got together to play a game of N trivia on social night, followed by an N drive meet throughout the spectacular Victorian high country. It sure must have been a blast! What better place to have a glimpse of the future of driving than a mobility show? The Seoul Mobility Show took place for a total of 10 days, with the theme Sustainability, Connectivity, and Mobility in the New Era. Like many other brands, and showcased its roadmap to electrified high performance through ARM20e and Veloster N ETCR. It was a great opportunity to take a walk down N history wall and pose with M Men as well. As always, the recent addition to the N merch lineup sold like hotcakes, while the Elantra N and Kona N diecast prototypes garnered quite the interest. Looks pretty neat, don't they? Last month, a number of car-loving enthusiasts gathered at the Sonoma Raceway to experience the driving dynamics of Kona N, Elantra N, and even the RM20E. The Sonoma Raceway is ranked as the second coolest tracks in the States, with a total of 12 turns throughout a 2.52-mile course. Unlike previous test drives, RM20E was charged there and then alongside the hydrogen fuel cell generator. This is said to be the first time the generator has been operated in public. It must have been quite the experience. Next up, we're back to Australia for a mega six-day event that caused quite a buzz in Bathurst. Even Ant-Man was spotted hanging out with many other enthusiasts at the final round of the TCR Australia Championship to show their support for the drivers. There was also an exclusive Ant exhibit where the i30 Sedan Ant i20N, i30N, and Kuna N were all displayed in the N iconic performance blue color. And hey, the IMAX N drift bus that made quite the sensation was also spotted. Still pondering on which end of year gifts to get your friends and loved ones? Worry not, because the N merch lineup has been updated once more. From phone grips to performance blue foldable plastic boxes, you might just end up getting everything available. But if you haven't found something to your liking, then stay tuned for more updates. Alright folks, this is it for this final episode of news. Next year, we will be flying to your community to get a taste of all the fun going around. So stay tuned. Until then, 
Toodles!